All right, so we've now moved Luigi around the screen and we've added bounds. So we added in these bounds to prevent Luigi from moving off the screen. The problem is, if you remember from the previous program, we press start, Luigi would move, and when he hit an edge, he would stop, and he would stop moving completely and get stuck. So we need to talk about what's happening here. And what's really happening here, and I'm going to use this Y portion right here to help me out, is when the up key is pressed, Y is subtracting, 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 and it will go in here every time Y is greater than or equal to zero, which means when it gets all the way up here to zero, it will still enter in here, it will subtract one and go to negative one, and when it recycles and comes back, this condition is no longer met because Y is negative one, which is not greater than or equal to zero. So we need to do it in each of these movements is we need to restrict when Luigi can actually move. So what I mean by that is Luigi can move in all directions, but when he hits y equals zero, when he hits this point, he can't actually move specifically up anymore. So we're going to add that into our program and say, okay, Luigi can move up, that's all fine and dandy, but Luigi also, in addition to being having the up key pressed, if he wants to move up, his y coordinate also cannot equal zero. Because if it equals zero and we subtract one more, it's going to go into negative one. And then it won't be able to enter in here anymore. So this is moving Luigi up and ensuring he doesn't go beyond y equals zero. And here we're going to do the same thing. The largest that y can be is 386. So what we need to make sure is that Luigi, his rectangle dot y coordinate does not equal 386. So this is saying this is moving Luigi down on the screen, but when he hits 386, he won't be able to move down anymore. So here we're saying it's and ensuring he doesn't go beyond y equals 386. And we'll do the same thing here. This is x moving to the left. Well, we don't, the smallest that x will be is zero. So here we want to make sure and Luigi rect dot x does not equal zero because we don't want him moving any more to the left and subtracting one more if he specifically equals zero. And the last part here, this will be Luigi rect dot x does not equal 720. So basically what this is saying is he has to be in this region to enter and move anywhere on the screen. And then these complex conditionals here are actually stating, okay, he can only move up when y does not equal zero specifically. He can't go any more negative than zero. So if he's at zero, he won't be able to subtract one more. Same thing here. If he's at 386, he won't be able to add one more. And for x, if he's at 0, he won't be able to subtract one more. And if he's at 720, he won't be able to add one more. So now if we play this again, you'll notice that he stops. And we'll see if he stops here. Oh, look, he stops there, but we can still keep moving to the right. Now if we angle ourselves up a little bit more, if he hits here, he can still move up. And here he can still move up as well. So you see that when he hits the edges, he keeps going. He just kind of only runs along the edges and won't go beyond them. So that gives you a little bit of insight about the planning that goes into that detection of the edges on your screen. And hopefully you can add that into a future program.